Hey, hey folks, it's Lindsey Huddleston with SPS Pack in the building over at Stockbridge High School, home of the Panthers. Got to see these guys just a couple of days ago at the Moneyball Tip-Off Classic. I'm here with Coach Jacob Rabadou. And like I told you, players, man, that was my high school team. You guys beat up on them, man. Detroit Henry Ford, you know. So um, Shannon remembered that. And I said, I forgot for a second who you He said, we beat Henry Ford, your team. So he was happy to say that. But, Coach, thank you for allowing me to come spend time in practice, see you, see the guys, get to meet these uh, awesome seniors and um, – um, talk to some of your players, but uh, how's things going for you? It's, it's going good. It's going really well. It was a really fast start. Um, we played six games in 13 days to start the season. Uh-huh. So, um, you know, and we're an independent this year. So right. We're not in a conference. That's a really unique situation, but it's allowed us to f- schedule really creatively and, and uh, I think really happy with the schedule. We kind of wanted a tough schedule up front to mm-hmm. really find our strengths and our weaknesses. And mm-hmm. um, You know, with not having a conference affiliation, there's, you know, with every game just about getting better. Yeah. So you like the Notre Dame of basketball, huh? I guess so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, whether we win or lose, it's all about learning and, and sure. learning, you know, what our best uh, team is going to look like in yeah. March. Well, you're definitely turning heads. I mean, we know that we're very early in the season, but, you know, a great win against a state championship team in Henry Ford. That's a state championship program. Um, on the Onstead win, I overheard you guys saying how people were surprised. But when I talked to some of your players, I can hear the confidence in them saying, hey, we talked about this for a while. What does it mean to have a group of seniors that are kind of calmly their last time together and I'll even say it some even say hey we want to win this for coach yeah well that's really special to me I'm you know I've had three of those seniors since they were sophomores you know mm-hmm. so it's um, those are my captains um, but that class has come through it's a, it's a great group it's a special group and we're really blessed here in Stockbridge to have two classes that were that talented be right next to each other wow. you know with the smaller school that kind of sometimes comes and goes but mm-hmm. um, that's what really makes them special it's it's not just the, the seniors but it's the combination now and the blending of that group of juniors who Mm -hmm. last year on any other team would have been varsity players Mm -hmm. Um, as sophomores went 20 and 0 on JV Mm -hmm. so it's really the first time we've gotten a chance to blend them and um, they're just great I mean it's it's a great group I talked to your athletic director Ernie Rivers we had a great conversation Uh, is it Papa Beard Uh, the Beard of Papa (laughs) that's what he goes by on his social media but he just gave me a little bit more insight me being a native Detroit in East Lansing about the isolation of this community where everyone has been connected for a while and that we're probably more closer to Jackson than Lansing so it's just talk about the um you know the, the for this community the fingerprint the fiber so if someone's like where's Stockbridge tell me more about Stockbridge how would you kind of define the community a little bit you know I might be the the best person to talk so I'd be careful I've only been here for six years I moved okay. in from uh from Montana believe sure. it or not which is wow. a little different than every coach I didn't know you were coming out of Montana maybe you told me that years ago I didn't, yeah. I didn't lock that in yeah it's a so but I you know I've so been, how have you experienced the community yeah that's I think a, a fair question um so some of my perceptions is you know it's it is isolated it's kind of it's it's, it's very central, but it's kind of just far enough away from everything to have that isolated feel. To some, mm-hmm. extent. some people like that. Some mm-hmm. people like that. Yeah, and I want to put the caveat on it. I'm not saying isolated in a negative way, but right. it's just a yeah. kind of description of what's going on. No, absolutely. Is yeah. that like Montana? Uh, no, actually, it's, it's actually very different. It's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. Um, um, it's, you know, there's the population density is so higher, so much higher. Oh. Like if you, this, this town's footprint would maybe have 80 people in the high school in Montana oh. because there's just nothing surrounding it. Sure. Um, um, so, uh, yeah, it, it's just different. This would be a fairly big high school in Montana. Wow. wow. But my, my perception was when I first took the job, you know, it came off of a, a pretty poor season. You know, they had won three or four games. Mm-hmm. Um, but had a group of talented kids coming, and we won 15 the next year. Mm-hmm. That was when we met Chris Hall and that group mm-hmm. of kids. Um, and I think the biggest challenge was just changing culture, which is the cliche everybody says. Right. But more of what I think that means is the expectations of themselves, you know. And uh, I think I don't think everybody feels this way, but there's maybe this, uh, some sense of, you know, we'll hear it from other teams sometimes, that you can't get beat by Stockbridge. You know, it's like, it's been a while since we've been, and we've had successful programs in the past. There's a ton of pride mm-hmm. back in those uh, late 70s. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're trying to just change that mentality. Right. And I think these kids have it. You know, this is the group that they're used to winning, they expect to win, mm-hmm. um, they're willing to do the work to win. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, so uh, You mentioned culture, you got Coach Derek Bowles uh, on staff here. Talk about what role he plays, what's going on here. 
Yeah. No, I think the biggest thing, um, you know, I want to do anything I could to maximize our success this year with this group, you know, because it's just that's at the end of the day, that's my job. Mm -hmm. um, I think where I have always struggled to keep up with is that those just those intangible pieces that are so important, like mm -hmm. the, the energy on the bench, sure, um, the energy in practice, and it's a lot to do with the guys that aren't involved mm -hmm. with the exact drill. Are they engaged? Mm -hmm. Are they supporting each other? And so I really wanted to tackle that this year, and I brought Derek in for that exact reason, and mm -hmm. it's been excellent. You know, That's it's great. It's really been great to see him um, in his element. And I can appreciate just putting my sports psychology hat on, seeing you guys dynamic. I see you heavy on your player development, getting them on the court, going through the drills, but deferring to him when he has his time going in, I think that helps out a lot. So that's just my observation as an outsider, man, and um, doing great. Um, what about you? Anybody spe you want to give some special shout-outs to or anything like that? Well, you know, I just want to appreciate, you know, the parents of these kids, you know, that have really brought them, um, kept this group together since they were young, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that sometimes people take for granted because it's mm -hmm. a lot of traveling and supporting and a lot of times in bleachers, keeping mm -hmm. these kids interested in playing ball together. So I, I think that's an important shout-out. You know, my staff, Ryan Johnson, is on my JV coach. He's been mm -hmm. here for, um, you know, with me since the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, and that's huge to me. And, and, of course, my wife and my family. Yeah. My wife probably is, takes the biggest sacrifice of all. And, and I'll give you some so. great advice, Coach. You're doing good. You're giving her her roses at the beginning of the season. The, a lot of guys wait to the end. Uh, <laughs> it's not her first rodeo. So, yeah, it's – um. But no, I mean, I can't take that for granted. You know, mm -hmm. putting my boys to bed right now. So. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Well, Coach, I've enjoyed getting to know you over the years, and uh, I'm going to keep an eye on you guys. I'm going to try to follow your schedules, top in on some of your games, and keep giving you support. But I want to wish you the best, and thanks again for welcoming in. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I think we're coming down to seeing our guys. Uh, as always, with that being said, this is Lindsay Hustle with SPS, and we'll see you next time. Peace.